Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Now, this is a very, very serious reading. You could like, share, comment if you want. This reading may trigger people. I'm aware of that, but please realize that I am just a messenger, and I realize the messengers get a lot of slack, right? But... Okay, be mindful of what you project to others. Now, I have some messages that I have to get out. Uh, some I wrote down and some is just so distinct that I don't have to. Please do not timestamp my video. Now, first of all, to the individuals that are using their children as a scapegoat, using religion, um, plagiarizing, I'm hearing, also uh, very manipulative energies, I've been saying for a while that these people have entities on them. So for those that are using their children as a means to stay in something toxic, let me just say this. The divine is not accepting that excuse. Your legacy depends on you sacrificing, okay? If you want your legacy to continue, you have to sacrifice everything and anything that is karmic, whether if it's a relationship, parents, children, is divine order, okay? Even those that you have children with. There is no straddling the fence. There's no more using any excuses. As for some of you already know, you've seen um, actual um, things as tangible, witnesses uh, of crimes for some of you. Some of you have seen family members go to jail. And let me just say this. There are things that are happening because the war is is prevalent so don't believe your eyes as i was cleaning i got the message distinctly to clean my windows right and so i'm like why you want me to clean my you know what i mean yeah i'm like okay my son likes to touch the windows okay a lot and uh he does have autism my child has autism okay and he touches the windows a lot and he has not been sleeping very well. And I noticed that around the full moons, when I get a lot of spell work sent to me, it causes my child not to uh, sleep. Okay. And so some of you may be experiencing that, especially if you have uh, children that are sensitive. I'm hearing in indigos, rainbows, or those that are on the spectrum. Okay. You may be seeing your children act out. It's very important to keep your environment clean and to eat fruits and vegetables um, every day. For those that are vegan, no problem. But for those of you that have been thinking about it or transitioning and finding it hard, okay, for whatever reason, it's important to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables in your daily uh, meal for those of you that can eat and drink water because there is an energy of um, like a lot of salt, like people are being dehydrated for whatever reason, okay? So first of all, I got sacrifice, justice, and judgment, okay? So for those of you that have been experiencing spell work and is causing ripples, the don't believe your eyes is it's a tower moment. Um, how I was explained is that uh, what you think is falling apart is coming together because some people have really did some things to cause you and your children some harm, okay? So if you are experiencing people leaving or going to jail for some of you, okay, it's because they're being protected. And I also got the message that... Um, um, specifically that the police are doing all that they can. They're doing their job, all right? But it's so many of them, let me get it straight, let me get it straight. The police are doing their job, but it's so many of them, it's only so much you can do. Now, I don't know if that's for a specific person because I wanted to say they, and they said, no, you, okay? And they specifically said energy and toxin and toxics, Toxin and toxic, okay? So this is saying no more strongly fit the fence. So for some of you that are divine feminines or divine masculines or on a higher level of uh, uh, connections, okay, those that is more than just divine masculine, divine feminine, let me just put that out there, okay? So a lot of people are being masked. And I'm also being told to tell you Final Destination. Everything is coming together. So we all know the movie Final Destination. You may want to watch it. So those of you that are not eerie to things like that, okay? 
So, I have to get this deck. Hold on. So, we have all this uh, energy of justice and um, prevalence and prevail. Okay, these are words that's coming up. Okay, people have to realize that you cannot believe your eyes. Um, I feel like a lot of people are caught up in the illusions of color, race, and things of that sort. And it's meant to do that. So, it's hard for those of us that live our daily lives and have to deal with certain things on the physical plane. But please realize that what's happening on the physical um, is, is very much connected to the journey. So, we're going to go ahead and get this out for those that are waiting for a reading please be patient and realize that um, it's for the delay is for a purpose okay so some of you may be having to deal with patience issues some of you are okay with it okay because you may be seeing or experiencing things right now that I'm hearing seeing is believing okay so I feel like this may resonate with someone that's waiting for a reading for me specific specifically okay we have the queen here this is uh, the queen of pentacles energy OK, uh, it's more than that, but it's the queen of pentacles energy. This is someone that's financially stable. This could be a male or a female. This could be someone that um, does shadow work. OK, this could be a healer that specifically deals with darker entities or someone that's being called to do that. OK, this is I'm hearing judgment and temperance. OK, and I'm seeing temperance from the voodoo deck. All right. So. Here we have this masculine facing their fears. Okay, this for some of you is a feminine. Okay, that's that's um, this is a feminine that may be coming into like themselves. Okay, you're balancing your female and your male energies, and this is why you're able to be this queen of pentacles. Some of you are taking a pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. For some of you, this is a masculine, a male taking a pilgrimage. Okay, and through this pilgrimage, through this uh, mental. Um, I heard mental vacation, but someone may be getting mental validation. This is someone that may have had some spell work done that caused them some sort of confusion or delusion. This first person is facing their shadows. This is someone that, um, okay, for some of you, this is a divine masculine that is married, okay? Yeah, they have, uh, okay, I'm, I'm hearing karmic ties, Okay, so this ties into the legacy. So this is someone that believes that a marriage and children is is something that's covered by the divine. Okay, this is something that uh, man-made, I'm hearing specifically. This is a man-made marriage. It's a covenant. It's something that's not ordained by the divine. Okay, someone may also be receiving some sort of message about that. This may be confirmation for you. Some of you are connecting telepathically to a higher source. Okay. Now, whatever that may be. Okay. That could be universal life force source, God, your higher self. It could be ancestors, whatever you are in alignment with. Okay. It's divinity. You're connecting with a, um, with people that are guiding you um, towards the light. The light almost wanted to fall too. Okay. Either show me what it is I need to see. Yeah, shadows. Okay. Someone wants to escape here. Someone definitely could be escaping at nighttime, I'm hearing. Okay. Someone could be traveling by night. All right. This person wants a reconciliation with this divine feminine here. Divine feminine at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is someone that's in a toxic soul contract with a soul mate. They would know this because they went through a lot of lessons. They also had a lot of spell work att attached to uh, them. This is a couple that have done a lot together and learned a lot together. This is why this masculine fears this energy. Okay, but they feel and know that there is this feminine. For some of you, this is a, a soulmate. So, for those of you that have opted out of the connection, trust me, there's somebody coming in for you if you have passed the test. There's an ascension here, and this is the truth. Some of you are seeing the fruits of your labors through justice. Okay, now I'm okay. I was. Thought I was going to be able to forget it, but I'm being told again, those that are experiencing heavy karma are having issues financially. 
Okay, for some of you, you could be having issues, but these issues are not affecting you because everything that you need, you have. Okay, so if you're having car issues, you might not even need to travel at this time. Okay, some of you are not meant to travel, but I'm talking about those that are holding on to the 3D illusion, those that have not graduated into 5D, those that still want to manipulate the truth. They still don't realize that the justice system on the physical plane is connected very much so with the justice system on in the etherical plane. And I'm being told to remind people that is one of the illusions that people have that there's an injustice. There's no injustice when you're sent to this planet. Please remember that you are reincarnated. So when I say you will not escape karma this time or next lifetime, why do you think when you go to court they give you double life sentences? Somebody is definitely a court ju a judge or somebody works in... Uh, an attorney. This is somebody that has been awakened to their divine purpose. This is somebody that possibly didn't even believe in terror. This is somebody that you would not think that is in the justice system. And I said this a long time ago, that there is a divine feminine on every aspect and every physical plane. So when they say final destination, everything is coming into alignment. People are going to learn their lessons. And for those that decided to clear karma, please realize that your ancestors are reincarnated through your children. So if you're having issues through your children, your children are already been ordained to clear karma. So there's nothing that you can do. If they were affected by these spells, it's because their vibration was low. I know some people don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. Okay. There's an ascension process happening right now. People are elevating. People are getting where they need to be. Unbeknownst to you or me, you really don't know. All right? There's a lot of games being played, but the divine sees everything. Why is escape here? Escape this blood line. I heard curse. So this ties in again to what I said earlier about your divinity, divine masculine, specifically males, those that are using their children as an excuse to stay in the toxic connection. It's really an excuse to not face your shadow because you do not want to level up. And the divine says, I see you very clearly. And your divinity is at question. If you're using your children, are you worried about ridicule? What are people going to say about you leaving your children? That is a burden that you must bear because guess what? The person that you lay down with and had children with is toxic, is succubus, and there is a debt that has to be paid. Some of you have dreams about this, nightmares, okay? These are fruition, spirit is telling me, all right? You dream about it. You know why? You're dreaming about all the entities and energy that this person, whether if it's male or female, has sent towards you. You're dreaming about the true distorted feminine and distorted masculine energy. You're dreaming about it. The divine is showing you. It's your own bloodline. So please do not use the divine as an excuse. Some of you are well aware that your counterpart does uh, not just illegal things, but manipulation through the court, through the spiritual court, as well as the justice court, fraud, embezzlement. You were, you were addicted to the lifestyle. You were addicted to uh, all type of materialism. And because some of you persuaded generations or your bloodline persuaded generations of toxic entities and energies to be dispersed out throughout the planet, there's a debt that has to be paid. Some of you have dreamt about it, okay? So there's a choice here. You're saying you want to protect your legacy, but you were sent here on a divine mission, divine masculine. Hmm? Hmm? On a divine Michelin. So your question, a uh, Michelin. Mm, somebody better check their tires. Okay, that goes back to the clean your windows. I got that in, in message very clear. Clean your windows. I'm like, okay, let me clean my window. I'm going to clean every window. It took me a minute. This is why I'm saying please be patient if you're waiting on a reading because I can't move when I want to. I got to move when the divine want to. And if you were commissioned to get a reading from me, it's because you are someone that possibly has dealt with karma or, in, or is coming out of a karmic cycle. Or you are a karmic trying to figure out what's going on. In any, in any given case, the messages is coming. Okay? This divine feminine is here. Someone wants to make peace with you, divine feminine. 
Now I'm being told whether if you are a male or female, if you are a male, um, some of you, this is a male Virgo. I heard that very clearly. Okay. For, um, others of you, you could be a male, um, any sign. However, you are in the, you're balanced. Okay. Your male, masculine and feminine energies are balanced. I'm hearing humble. You, you humbled yourself. Some of you stepped up to your divine calling. Okay. And this would be someone that is not disrespectful to the feminine counterpart. Okay. Some of you, your masculine have turned karmic. Okay. And so this is the message here. Someone wants to make peace. This person could be reaching out through uh, telepathically. For some of you, you've ascended so far that you don't even have a telepathic connection. That same telepathic connection that they use to distort you with. Now they want it back. At the bottom of the deck, here we have curses. Okay? So this is for those divine feminine where you, you experience uh, toxic soulmate con soulmate contracts from your past those that you um that did some core cutting you didn't quite know if that was a soulmate or a twin this is for you that for some of you this is just energy from past lives and you and you know it because you dream about it like a nightmare or something okay some of you are connected to witches if you are sensitive about that then this ain't the channel for you because guess what if you're on this planet and you manifest your witch whether if you are male or female and check up the etymology or etymology of witches this is someone that's a healer okay a spiritual healer that heals with natural herbs but some of us take this gift that we have and use it for distorted purposes okay some of you have a distorted view about religion. You hold on to the Bible too, too tightly. And let me just say this. The Bible was written by men. There's a ritual. There's a curse that this divine feminine was placed under. Okay? For some of you, this is a past life. You switch places, I'm hearing. Okay? This is a, like a family feud. War of the Roses type of thing here. This feminine, distorted feminine is one that... Uh, constantly is doing black magic around the clock this person is just dude this person doesn't sleep they're they're drained i'm seeing somebody drinking coffee you know yeah this is the truth here this they know that you are fortune they know where your your fortune lies however this uh energy is so distorted right this energy is so distorted let me tell you how they think they think that holding on to this masculine is going to stop something. What they don't realize is not about them. Those of those of you where your masculine or feminine have children, it's about legacy. All the readers keep saying that this is generation and generation of karma. That's why I say people don't realize it's bigger than this. This is a chain of events, a final destination. All right. Aquarius. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio. All right, a Scorpio that's refusing to change. Some of you may be Aquarius that are refusing to change. If you take in it personal, you're getting triggered by what I'm saying. It's you that need to change. You need to figure out why you're triggered by someone that don't know you. Here we have Aquarius and we have transformation. So someone is refusing to change. Okay, this is someone that's rebellious. This is also someone that uh, carries an androgynous energy. So for those of you that are triggered, you're triggered because you are the one to have a demonic energy on you. I'm not saying anything about anyone. I don't care about your personal lifestyle. I deal with souls. You are the one that have a problem with the flesh. Love yourself. Either show me what it is I need to see. No one else will love you. So here we have someone doing magic. There's somebody doing magic to keep someone distracted with Virgo being here. Okay, Virgo is the hermit representing uh, Mercury energy, which is a magician type of energy. All right, some of you are dealing with a Gemini or this is a, a karmic, a soulmate that you or this person is dealing with. They can have Sagittarius or Virgo in their chart or you. Whatever it is that causes this person to be distracted. I feel like this person is distracted by uh, family issues. And that is what this demonic energy is using to keep this uh, masculine trapped. Okay, so this is the message that I'm getting. So you take it for what you believe. I've uh, seen a masculine say, or a male, I'm assuming. But you know what they say about assumptions. He said, 
um, that he lost everything due to black magic. It's not due to black magic. It's due to your energy and you being receptive to temptation. Okay? A lot of people have lost a lot of things. It's not. It's about not believing your eyes. Clean your windows. Somebody may also go out and bird poop may be on their window. They may have to clean their windows. This may resonate with you. Why is escape here? Something happened to somebody's windows. Okay. Why is escape here? Somebody could be peeping through someone's window. So here we have, yeah, I feel like this is a, a masculine energy. For some of you, it's a feminine, you know, depending on if you're in, you know, whatever. Um, there's a masculine trying to escape the shadow. We seen the shadow earlier in transformation, okay? I'm not sure if we've seen the devil, but the devil's definitely here in the shadow form. Materialism, sex, greed, temptation. This is Capricorn energy. This is, Unfortunately, this is lower uh, Capricorn energy, lower vibration. Someone could be having spying issues. Someone fears for like, their life, it, definitely, with the devil being here with escape. Somebody could be in survival mode also. They want to escape something that they got themselves trapped in with Saturn being here, which is also the devil. Okay? This person could be a Scorpio, Capricorn, strong Capricorn. This is a toxic belief system. This is a toxic energy. This is a toxic marriage. This is someone that is spiritually manipulative. This is someone that uses religion to manipulate. Okay? For some of you, this is a masculine that possibly used to be divine, but not this lifetime. This is someone very argumentative. For some of you, this is going to be a judge that someone has. Okay, that's not going to take any any crap. And that's why I said people have to watch out for what they consider uh, bad and good. Okay, because it's only divine order. With the moon being here, yes, yeah, this is a split decision here. Okay. With the fate card being here, that's more Sagittarius energy. For some of you, it's a Pisces. Again, we've seen that earlier. Someone could be traveling, trying to escape some sort of karma, but I feel like someone overstepped their boundaries in this situation, or they had none, lack of control, okay? With the devil being here, no self-control, only worried about surviving. I'm hearing live and die in LA. Tupac, somebody's a Tupac fan. Yeah, this person is only uh, focused on surface uh, materialism, the outside. They don't care. I'm hearing down with OPP. They don't care if you marry. They don't care long, you know, they don't care. This is someone that is spoiled. They get their way. Okay, this is someone that may also have issues uh, with, uh, I'm hearing bulimic. Okay, so this is someone that could, yeah, yeah. This is someone that is overly obsessive with looks, so they may have uh, some issues with that, self-image issues with Pluto being here. And we have Aquarius here in the shadow. Most definitely, this is Scorpio in the shadow. This is someone not um, facing themselves, their true selves, sporadic. They could also be a drug user. All right, I heard cocaine specifically. Someone does a lot of DUIing. Someone could also be uh, be in a road trap. I don't know. A road trap? A I don't know if they even have those right now. But somebody could. Somebody's going to face judges, judgment in the weirdest way. Everything is coming into alignment. I'm hearing final destination. This person was very, very toxic and stubborn. They did not listen. This is someone that was very rebellious. This is a Sagittarius. This is all low vibrational energy. Okay. For some of you, this is what you defeated if you are divine feminine. For others of you, um, a divine masculine, you were able to escape. For some of you, you knew you had uh, karmic children. You dreamt about it. Yeah. Look at that. Temperance in the shadow in reverse next to Capricorn, which is the devil. You dreamt about it. You knew. You knew with the high priestess. Pisces energy. You close the cycle. So somebody, I'm seeing the Six of Swords. Why is blood here? Why is blood here? 
new beginning. Someone's trying to man. Oh, yeah. Someone's trying to manifest this, uh, uh, you know, new beginning for this divine feminine. Someone's trying to um, distract you, but divine feminine or divine masculine, whoever is the higher vibration here, they were trying to distract you, but they end up getting distracted. Somebody could be having heartburn or yeah. Someone, yeah, with blood magic, rituals, they got distracted. So I feel like they manifested a, a, a toxic loop for themselves here. Somebody is definitely single. Um, yeah, I feel like this masculine realized, they realized they were being manipulated here. They manifested a new beginning here. Somebody went in, but when they went in, they realized they had to go somebody, Okay. Okay, this masculine realized that this foundation was no longer solid, regardless if you're married or not. There's no more straddling the fist. There's no more excuses. You're going to have to bear that burden here. Someone was um, sporadic, irrational. I'm hearing someone fall. Did someone even fall out of a window? What the hell? Strong, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, Virgo, Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, we have the moon. Cancer, Pisces, energy, not having all the information, seeing things distorted. Someone hiding truths, looking at things through rose-colored glasses. Okay, hiding your true feelings, hiding emotions, moon manifestation, and the magic. All in the name of this... Not so divine masculine for some of you. I felt sick. Somebody definitely has negative energy around them. Why is the divine feminine here? Ethan, show me. Tower moment. So for some of you, this is an unstable foundation coming to an end. Okay? With uh, Aquarius being here and Scorpio, strong Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries energy. Someone made a judgment. Someone made a judgment to move towards something that they have been hiding. Okay, for some of you, you could be an Aquarius, Pisces, or a Cancer, or a Gemini on a higher vibration. You passed a test. You passed some sort of test. So it's a split. If you get mad, don't get mad at me. It's just more negative energy and self-doubt. Spirit said self-defeat. <laughs> Someone is, feels defeated because they can't manipulate and control. That's that, that entity you have on you. Why is divine feminine here? Show me. So you have this not-so-divine masculine wanting to come back because of this tower moment they experienced. I already knew that wasn't you, divine feminine. Okay, You could be dealing with the Aries, a Taurus for some of you or a Scorpio, or a Gemini, but this person, or that could be you, Divine Feminine, Cancer Energy in the building, Cusper, yeah, someone had a baby mother or a wife, someone that they had children with, with the Mars Energy, there was strife here, there was a lot of passion, but nothing else, this person may have thought, this Divine Masculine, some of you Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines thought your child's uh, parent was your masculine and is not okay there was some uh, strife there was a lot of passion here but through this passion someone called for divine justice and divine knowledge okay someone was able to see the truth okay someone also realized who their divine masculine was okay this person that is protected here some of you may be connecting with your divine masculine telepathically okay some of you may be trying to block it out. You may feel like you're going like you're going crazy. That's you ascending. Okay, so be mindful. This is why they want you to not be eating fast foods and try to cut that out. I know it's hard, but it's uh, when you, especially when you're ascending. You have to be a clear channel. Yeah. So divine feminine, something is delayed. We have the sun card here in the high aspect for you, divine feminine or divine masculine. It's being delayed. Okay, some of you are 
delaying the truth, delaying your intuition, second guessing yourself. Okay, you may need to confront someone with Leo being here. There could also be a Leo uh, karmic I'm hearing that wants to confront you. This person is emotional. For some of you, it could be a Cancer as well, a Gemini Cancer, Cuss, or Pisces that want to uh, reach out to you. This person is unstable. This could be their child's parent or someone that they are uh, married to here. Yeah, we have Mercury. You all know that that's my entanglement card. This is someone that refuses to, to to face their shadow. They do manipulation. Okay, this person does projection magic for some of you. That's why you hear these negative thoughts in your head. Get in the mirror and project them right back. Okay, yeah. Someone, you know, was throwing stones and hiding hands. This is the energy of throwing stones and hiding hands. We have the devil with uh, Capricorn being here in a high vibration. We have Virgo. We have Taurus. And then we have Gemini. This is, you need to, you have a, you had a chance to confront your shadow and deal with your issues, but you choose to manipulate. You didn't go within, okay, with the hermit card. You were stubborn. Okay, you stayed in a situation that was dead end. For some of you, it was due to money. For some of you, it was a job. Okay, for some of you, these people use religion, religious issues. We don't see things the same, even though they are they are, are around people that are are uh, wolves in sheep clothing. They're materialistic. They only deal with people for money, but they used your spirituality against you, and they decided to stay in a connection that was dead. Okay, they refused here, and while you transform, you complete a cycle. Some of you, you even travel. Some of you may be famous. Your finances is definitely looking up. A lot of you are readers. You are being called to come back in, uh, um, you know, open up to pers uh, personal readings for some of you. Be mindful. I'm telling you, of sp sporadic energy. You have went through this process to know who to read for and who not to. Even if you get some eerie feeling after you get that payment, send it back. I've done it. Okay? This is about a victory. Okay? You have to know who the distorted energy is and who is not because it's wolves and sheep's clothing. Okay? Ooh. All right, so yeah, somebody's definitely angry at a cancer. You could be a Leo Cancer cuss, divine feminine. Someone is very angry and upset at you. They've been doing uh, water uh, incantations, fire magic. They've been doing everything, okay? You could, you don't necessarily have to be a cancer. You could be a divine feminine that is, oh, someone drives a motorcycle. You could be a divine feminine that is a mother of a child and things are being delayed because you have to confront someone. Someone that's very toxic. For some of you, it's your child's father. Someone is trying to hold on to you energetically. Okay. Some of you, you got a, a attachment with the uh, entity and you're fully aware of it, but you love your, your children. Okay. Some of you are battling... Um, materialism okay you're battling staying in a connection for the children and that's not going to work you can't use the children because you know i'm being told it's just the opposite for you to save your children you have to end that connection okay mercury retrograde we have moon dang somebody's fire alarm is going off okay so some of you are dealing with pisces or cancer someone could want to reach out um, to their child's mother Okay, somebody definitely is going uh, to do some deep reflection. This Mercury retrograde is going to be a lot of changes. Okay, for some of you, this person is going to continue to keep doing magic and they are going to go fall deeper and deeper and deeper. And it may even hurt some of you to watch this person, but I'm telling you, this person is fooling you. Okay. Some of you, that is what you are here for, to give someone their karma. Okay. Yeah, you dreamed about this. This is something that was faded. You know you had children with the karmic. And you still use that as an excuse. And Divine is saying that you're not going to use that as an excuse. And you're not going to use religion. That's why a lot of people is being busted for that. Because it, it, it misguided generations of people. I heard it. Ain't nobody got no time for that. Why is Sagittarius here? 
Sagittarius. So we have a Sagittarius that was very stubborn. Okay. Again, this person could be trying to reach out to you. This could be a Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and some more Aries and uh, Scorpio energy. Yeah. Someone is very upset. They're very upset because they feel like you're taking what they have. And they're using, like, this person is really, like, possibly going to friends and gossiping, okay? Trying to heal a connection. Trying to, you know, for some of you, this masculine wants to heal a connection with you. You could be a Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. However, um, this person wants to heal something with you. However, they have issues with their finances. They have a lot of negative uh, energy that they need to release here, okay? Again, I do feel like, you know, this person is dreaming of you, but this person also needs to heal from all that toxic energy that they have. This person has been sleeping with a, a, a entity for a very long time. It's like a zombie, okay? they And here we have Fifth House. It stole their creativity. It caused them to put a mask on, to wear a mask, possibly alienate themselves from everyone that was trying to get them to leave this connection. Yeah. With 12th house escape, Pisces energy. They alienated themselves for, from anyone that was trying to get them to leave this connection. Okay? This is a truth with Saturn being here. We have Pisces, the 12th house. That's the end of the karmic cycle. I, that's, I realize who my enemies are. And for some of you, it is the person you have a child with. Okay? This person is karmic with Saturn being here. This is some uh, entity... An energy that you had to clear in order to ascend. So a lot of people don't really realize what this is about. Why is the sun here reverse? Sun reverse. It, people thought it was about looks, it was about status, but they really don't. And I'm not and I'm being told not to say. Sun. Because they still gonna try to manipulate, but it's not, yeah, they still gonna try to manipulate. That's what they, they look for. They think that they're getting little nuggets when they uh, listen to these readers, but they're not. Yeah, see, look. They think they're getting little nuggets, especially if you are a reader or you're a healer. They think they're getting information. And for some of you, they have gotten information on how to heal, heal themselves. I'm being told to tell you. You healers need to stop listening to these karmic readers telling you to pray for these karmics. You are giving them energy to keep, you know, effing with you basically so be careful what you believe in some of you divine feminines you have the foresight you dreaming about uh possibly spell work being done towards you you are correct it was spell work done um for some of you it was spell work from past lives okay i'm just gonna be honest for some of you it had nothing to do with you it was your forefathers and ancestors Okay, I'm I'm hearing especially if you're biracial, and don't get in my comments talking about I don't like biracial people. Everybody on this planet is mixed, believe it or not. <sighs> There's alchemy here, and this is about your destiny. So someone is trying to manifest a new beginning. Okay, so um, please realize that you are protected from this energy, but do realize that divine feminists do turn karmic every day, every day, because they they give up. Okay, they lose hope. Like some of these people that you've seen that were emperors and empresses, but they are in a shadow because they got too caught up in negative energy with the devil, materialism on what things look like. So when it was able, it was time for them to make the shift, they weren't able because they were too caught up in material things here, okay? So some of you are gonna get some sort of clarity possibly online while you're driving here. All right, this is my androgynous energy, which is, uh, for me, intersex energy. All right. Some of you are a part of the LGBTQ community. And guess what? You are a divine feminine or a divine masculine. Oh, people ain't going to like that. I know it's going to get some thumbs down. I'm having with thumbs Go ahead. <laughs> thumbs and down. Because people don't like them. I said isms don't fly on my channel. That's why when people come over talking about you got this 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 bigotry going on or this, this you know, I don't do that. I don't, like, come on. Like, you got to be quicker than that. All right. So some of you. You may be having dreams about that, or you may have not realized that, okay, 
I'm, I don't want just to go to your head now. But that's God energy. A lot of people are trying to be like you. Go figure. I know you're going to thumbs down that too. It's going to hurt a lot of people, okay? But if you are a person that's of interstates and you watch this, you're very attracted to a lot of people, male and female, and you know it. Okay, it's kind of scary. Okay, it's uh, seductive. Very seductive. Yep. Very You have like a, and I'm not going to say you're an incubus. It's like a goddess type of energy. I heard Aphrodite, but um, I'm seeing Kali. I'm seeing all images of goddesses where they have male and female. Okay. And that includes the devil, which is a fallen angel. Okay. So, yeah, someone's going through a major change here. Okay, to speak it into his existence. Make sure you state what you want your life to be every day. You have the power. Speak it into existence with foresight. All right. I'm going to go until it cuts off. So don't be mad if it cut off. I made sure I cleared it up a lot. But unfortunately, I do have to stop it at 45 minutes. So if you made it to this part of the video, I appreciate you. All right. Why is foresight here for divine feminine and divine masculine and the true divine feminines? True divine masculines, the ones that have carried that cross, okay? And realize what it's all about, okay? It has not manipulated by skin and flesh, okay? So why is foresight here? Some of us have really bared a lot, okay? A lot, lost a lot. A people and even that was a lesson in itself right to lose people it says I am peaceful this is how you're going to maintain your balance here divine feminine always peace peace you give love to yourself all right it says to be continued you know this is a, some of you are a writer but this is symbolic of you writing your own story what you are the author of your life story despite what's been written so far what do you want your story to be about well hello and stay engaged be in the moment all right follow your passions here use that 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 sexual energy that you are holding back for your creative process okay because I kept hearing, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> child, the flesh is weak, okay? It says, I benefit with gratitude, stay in that energy of abundance, so the abundance will keep coming and flowing to you, okay? And I invoke laughter. This is the full energy. This is new beginnings happening for you. Stay in that energy of being receptive. But